All right, so today we're gonna be building a planter. Yes, I have a little garden in the back. I got like a, I would say, around like a range of pots. I would like to just make one complete setup, right? So I'm building a, a four by three planter. So four feet long, three feet wide, about two and a half feet deep. So yeah, hopefully you guys are gonna like the video, things like that. And uh, so I got my wheels coming in today. I started off and went to Home Depot. I got uh, five four by twos, okay? And then I have two four by fours. Everything is eight feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my four by fours, that's eight feet. I'm gonna cut those in half so I got four legs, right? And then I got, uh, so I got five four by twos. Well, five, yeah, four by twos already. So I'm gonna take four of those, split those in half. So now it becomes four feet. So I got four feet on both sides. You know what I'm saying? So one, two, three flip it over then I got one two three on the other side so basically I got my I got my length right there you know what I'm saying and uh we're gonna take two of those make the sides and I have my ply board which is gonna be my base I'm gonna drill some holes into it for drainage and things like that but I think I'm missing a couple reinforcement uh you know a reinforcement basically for for the uh center so I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get that today. But anyways, let's go and get right on into it. Got the tape measure. The dogs hate the tape measure. Also have my little uh, jigsaw drill, you know. Forgot the battery charger. I don't even know what a battery charger is. So we're gonna have to tough through it today. You get what I'm saying? And uh, let's go and get right on into it, man. Damn right. Hey, matter of fact, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and make this video go viral, okay? Take this, take a mark at the four foot, take a little mark, boop, flip it back over, boop, that's my mark. All right, so four feet, and I'm gonna uh, do this a gang of times. So with editing magic, we're gonna be done. I'm gonna take my little sanding block, get the sand in the edges and stuff like that so I can make it as evenly as possible. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna keep on doing it. After sanding is done, we start painting. We're going with the red and black theme. The black parts of my container are for the sidewalls to contain all the soil. Each side of the container will be three panels deep. Between each panel, I used wood glue. After painting is done, the next step is, is to lay the sides on a ply board so I can see where I want to put my support beams. All right, so for here, I'm wondering, should I go with three supports or just one? So long story short, I ended up just using one support beam right in the middle, right there. Uh, needed to kind of work through in my head. We went with one with each layer being glued. Move on to the next step. Back to gluing more panels together. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of gluing and gluing and gluing, okay? Now, again, lining up through panels is as, as best as possible. Add an extra weight to it, extra tension, so make that glue stick a whole lot better. So, and at this moment, I realized that uh, I wasn't done cutting. Yeah, man, gotta keep them sides going. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, measure and make sure everything is uh, precise and uh, get the best cut as possible using my little workman table. All right, so now that the wood is cut, check it out. Make sure it measures up to what I have on the ground over there. So, fun stuff. So we're now here we start putting everything together. Yes, I took my four inch screws, drilled it down into the side panels. I wanted to make sure every, everything was sturdy as possible. So after we're done, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, turn it up on the side, make sure everything checks out good. Yeah, throw it up to the side, man. We got some more work to do. Now we're putting the edges together. We're gonna go ahead and uh, see how this is gonna work. I have some metal brackets. I was really thinking about creating my own uh, 90 degree of bolt, but I said, forget it. I'm already doing too much cutting and uh, I need to speed up the process. And the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side on top, just so I can see how it looks. Give me gain some great motivation behind uh, of uh, working in the sun for the past few days trying to do this so from this point i'm going to go ahead and uh bracket the one half to the other so as you see here i'm just going to add in some more of these metal elbows making sure everything is on the up and up when it comes from my stability perspective yeah let's go ahead and uh, get everything going so at this point you know i'm pretty exhausted the day must go on right so i'm gonna go ahead and add the base which in this case is a piece of plywood that i actually cut yeah Bring the camera closer. Come here. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the same elbows I've been using around the entire edge. So I'm just gonna continue screwing everything down 
I felt like I needed some type of center support braid. So what I did was, and I did show you guys in the video was, I took that center and I drilled it into the bottom of my sidewall. And now that the wheels are on, we're gonna flip this bad boy over. Yes, man, I am so happy right now. Small wins, little wins. Yes, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna continue to add screws into the elbows. And yes, we're gonna start painting a little bit of the inside, just a couple panels deep, because I'm gonna actually be installing in the next step a plastic perforated lining. Adding this liner helps the dirt to stay inside the actual planter from the sides and also the bottom. One thing I wanted to point out was I drilled holes in the plywood for drainage. So now that I'm done with all my layers of lining, it is time to add the soil to the planter. Yes, multiple layers have been placed within my planter. Here I come adding the actual soil. I have two types of soil, both organic. One is 100% uh, plant-based vegan with a uh, vegan type of compost with vegetables and things like that. The other uh, really wasn't. So mess up on my part, but let's go ahead and get going, man. I use about a total of four to five bags of soil inside of my planter. Next step, spread the soil around evenly. Took my water hose to wet the soil in. The next day we start planting. Yes, look at that, man. So in my planter, we currently have dragon peppers. We have a cilantro plant that I've uh, planted a little while back. We also have a lot of green onions I take from the store. I just put them in some soil and they just keep continuing to grow. I have a mint bush, a couple jalapeno plants, two tomato plants. I also bought a lavender plant to deter from all of the bugs, right? Yo, thanks for watching this video, man. It has been an awesome time building this planter. If you're interested in more gardening content, please drop a comment below and I will be making more gardening content, okay? Also, subscribe to the channel, like the video, play some comments, on my video tell me how, do you, how how did you like it hope you liked it and everything like that but thank you guys for watching again remember this channel is all about health and wellness and also tech who gonna give you that who who is gonna give you health wellness and tech at the same damn time nobody thanks damn right